And so we're getting Anthony Ryder from South Lyon, Michigan, recently selected as the Lions 2020 Fan of the Year. He has a passion about sports broadcasting. With the 112th selection in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Amon Ross St. Brown, wide receiver, USC. One cry, baby! What's going on everybody welcome back to another detroit lions video now about this time a season ago the detroit lions as well as numerous other nfl teams were starting their search for a new coaching regime whether it be a new head coach a new offensive coordinator a new defensive coordinator a positional coach or all of the above a lot of different nfl teams were looking for new coaches to bring into their coaching staff to hopefully give their team the boost they needed to either make that jump from borderline to playoffs or playoff contenders to super bowl contenders and the detroit lions were one of those teams that were looking for everything not to make the jump to the playoffs necessarily but to replace matt patricia to start a new era in detroit and build this team properly really in the way that Matt Patricia never could. And as part of this rebuild, the Lions did need a head coach. They did need an offensive coordinator. They did need a defensive coordinator and they needed numerous positional coaches. But I think one of the biggest coaching moves for the Detroit Lions this offseason was picking up and was hiring the very highly sought after defensive coordinator candidate in Aaron Glenn. Now, Aaron Glenn spent multiple years with the New Orleans Saints as a as the secondaries coach he was the guy that was getting all the secondary players ready coach guys like Malcolm Jenkins Marshawn Lattimore and a lot of other really good Saints defensive backs to come through New Orleans over the years and after his success in New Orleans he was very highly sought after as a defensive coordinator by a multitude of teams however despite being a very sought after coordinator and despite having a lot of interest from multiple NFL teams Aaron Glenn ultimately decided to pass up on more talented defenses around the NFL to come and reunite with his former assistant head coach in Dan Campbell as Aaron Glenn decided to take the defensive coordinator job in the Motor City. Now Aaron Glenn absolutely improved this defense. There is no doubt in anybody's mind that Aaron Glenn had turned this defense from the worst unit in the NFL to at least semi-respectable unit without honestly a lot of talent. And I know the defense has had a lot of ups and they've had a lot of downs this year right obviously they gave up I think 41 points versus San Francisco in week one they gave up 50 points to Seattle a week ago but they've also had a lot of really good performances only giving up 19 points to Baltimore only giving up you know 17 19 points to Minnesota keeping Pittsburgh and Cleveland and Chicago under 20 points in back to back to back weeks and yes their defense the Lions defense and Aaron Glenn's defense has had some ups and downs this year but in saying that they've also had some incredibly high highs they've had some really low downs and they've had some really impressive ups right they've had great stretches of play and they've had some games where they haven't played all that well and I think part of that is Aaron Glenn learning as a defensive coordinator I think part of that is all the injuries that he had and that he's had to deal with going through this season, losing, I think, seven or eight starters on the defensive side of the ball for the remainder of the season at that point. I know we lost, you know, Romeo Quar early. I know we lost Trey Flowers around week 13. I know we lost Jeff Okuda in week one. He lost Amani a few weeks ago. He lost Jerry Jacobs against Denver. He lost Tracy Walker for a couple weeks. He lost Julian Okwara, his third edge rusher for I think four or five weeks in the middle of the season like he has not played and has not coached a game with a fully healthy Lions defense all season and yet they've put together some really truly impressive defensive performances versus some really good NFC and some really good AFC offenses that they faced this season including Baltimore including Arizona including you know the Green Bay Packers for a half or so including you know they've had great 
stretches of play, and a lot of that has to do with Aaron Glenn's play calling and him being a really good defensive coordinator like a lot of people thought he was going to be. And I mean, even if you want to look at it statistically, the Lions defense is so much better than a year ago, despite what the on-paper talent might tell you that they look like. In the final year under Matt Patricia, the Detroit Lions defense averaged a averaged allowing 32 and a half points per game every single game so on average the Lions defense gave up 32 and a half points every single time they played a football game and Aaron Glenn after getting rid of arguably a lot of on paper talent guys like Desmond Trufant who was a first round pick guys on the defense that were supposed to be good guys like Justin Coleman guys like you know people that Matt Patricia brought in guys like Jamie Collins right on paper those guys are more talented than what the Lions are fielding at this point in time but despite getting rid of all that on on paper talent the Detroit Lions average giving up this year just 27.3 points per game which is almost a full touchdown difference and as I said some of that is inflated by the San Francisco game some of that is inflated by the Seattle game but if you really look at it a majority of the time I'd say you know eight to nine games of this season the Detroit Lions have had a defensive performance that keeps them in the game I've had a defensive performance that keeps their opponents under or near 20 points on the board which if they had even an average offense in the NFL would give the Detroit Lions an opportunity to win every season single one of those games and honestly if the offense was a little better if the offense averaged what they average in the NFL for points per game if they ranked 15th 16th in the NFL in points per game they would be a eight to nine win team right now because the defense has kept them in this game and has kept them in so many games throughout the NFL season and even when Aaron Glenn took this defensive coordinator job, there were already rumors that there were people interested in him as a head coaching candidate. There are guys and there are people around the NFL that view Aaron Glenn incredibly highly, and they are willing to at least interview him for a head coaching position in the NFL. Now, personally, I don't think Aaron Glenn is ready for a head coaching job. I think one day he absolutely will be. Probably by this time next season, we're going to be talking about who to replace at defensive coordinator because Aaron Glenn will likely leave for a head coaching job. But I think just Aaron Glenn being very new to play calling, Aaron Glenn being very new to an expanded role on the defense, I think that he could really benefit from another year in Detroit. And when he was asked about it by reporters, the reporters had, or when he was asked about it by the reporters, he had a very similar answer saying that he wants to be the best coordinator the Lions have ever had. He is focused on Detroit. This is his current job. And all he focused on right now is being the best coordinator that the Lions have ever had, being the best coordinator that his players have and will ever play for. That is his goal right now as a Detroit Lions defensive coordinator. Obviously, that is something that you could say as your coach, right? That doesn't mean he's not going to leave in the future. And that doesn't mean that he's not going to leave and become an amazing head coaching candidate like I believe that he can be in a year or two. But for the moment, for the year of 2022 and probably the year 2023, if we're lucky, Aaron Glenn will be the defensive coordinator for the Lions. And Aaron Glenn, even in his first season, has improved so drastically as a play caller, has improved so drastically as a defensive coordinator. And I'm really excited to see where Aaron Glenn goes. I'm really excited to see how much better Aaron Glenn can make this defense even you know playing and even coaching for one of the lesser talented defenses in the NFL because you look at the Lions on paper especially defensively right now going into week 18 you may not recognize a single player starting that football game maybe Tracy Walker if you're a big NFL fan maybe Michael Brockers if you're an older NFL fan or a Rams fan but other than those two you're not going to recognize a single name on the Detroit Lions defense this week in week 18 because they're going to be starting guys like Will Harris. They're going to be starting guys like Ifiatu Melofanwu. They're going to be starting guys on the edge like Charles Harris and Julian Okwara. They're going to be starting linebackers like Derek Barnes and Jalen Reeves Mabin. They are not big name guys and on paper the Lions are probably the least talented team and probably the least talented defense on paper in the NFL after all the injuries that they've sustained 
And yet, even having the worst on-paper defense in the NFL, Aaron Glenn's defense is not last in any statistical category. And honestly, they're not even that close to last place. I mean, yes, they're mid-20s, but there are multiple teams that are worse at every single position and every single statistical category than the Detroit Lions defense, which I think speaks volumes to exactly how good Aaron Glenn is as a coach. And that's not to say he hasn't made mistakes. That's not to say that Aaron Glenn hasn't, you know, had some bad calls. Because I think at the end of the Baltimore game, at the end of the first Minnesota game, there were some growing pains, right? There were some lapses in judgment. There were some players' mental mistakes. There were some mental mistakes by Aaron Glenn. There were things to be cleaned up early in the season. Even as late as Chicago in the game on Thanksgiving, they had some mental errors, and Aaron Glenn had to clean up some things on his defense. But at the same time, he's improved so much. And ever since Thanksgiving, the Lions really haven't had that bad of a performance up until the Seattle Seahawks game, where again, they were just so depleted that it really wasn't fair. I mean, you're talking about DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, and Russell Wilson versus Ifiatu Melifonwu and Will Harris as your starting cornerbacks, right? It's not fair. The Lions are so... The lines are so depleted throughout the entire defense that it really isn't fair to judge Aaron Glenn off these last two games. But I think you can judge him off the season. In the season, his defense has had, considering all the setbacks, has been truly remarkable for a Detroit Lions coordinator. And I think if he does stay for another year or two years even, he can be one of the best defensive coordinators the Lions have ever had. And especially next year and the year after, when we get some talent, right, you add players like Kayvon Thibodeau, you add a player like Kyle Hamilton. I have a mock offseason coming where I get Aaron Glenn so many defensive pieces that he can just use especially in the secondary to help fix up this team like you give him a decent amount of talent in this offseason maybe you get you know a couple safeties maybe you get a couple linemen or a linebacker you know you draft Kayvon Thibodeau you draft you know a couple linebackers this defense can improve drastically on the on paper they can improve drastically in this offseason on paper and you could go into next season you know, hosting, you know, Kayvon Thibodeau and Romeo Quara as your edge rushers with Levi and Aleem and Michael Brockers being your defensive tackles with, you know, Jalen Rizmaven and Alex Anzalone and maybe a, a lesser known but still very efficient free agent linebacker coming. You could go in with a whole new safety core with having, you know, your cornerback room that's already seven corners deep that have starting experience in the NFL. You give Aaron Glenn an offseason and you get him some talent this offseason and this defense can take a huge, huge jump in year two under Aaron Glenn and that huge year could catapult him right into head coaching discussions yet again a year from now. But as of the moment, Aaron Glenn is a Detroit Lion. As of the moment, Aaron Glenn, despite being asked and despite actually being offered a multitude of interviews for the head coaching position by numerous teams that have yet to be named, Aaron Glenn has refused all of them. He is solely focused on Detroit and his goal right now is to be the best defensive coordinator and the best coordinator period that has ever been to Detroit. Now, with all that being said, that is life for you guys today. I just wanted to update you with our defensive coordinator situation because there have been rumors, there have been murmurs that he might leave to be a head coach this season, but Aaron Glenn is staying put in Detroit for at least another year, and I think you give him some talent this year, and Aaron Glenn's defense can absolutely be one of a top 10 units in the NFL under his coaching and under his guidance. But with all that being said, that is life for you guys today. Thank you all so very much for watching, and until next time, and as always, go Lions!